This is a cracking conversation between Sarah and Adam Miller of ESP Utilities. And he's telling us how he can reduce the time it takes to get those extra substations so we can accelerate the pace of change in electrification. I'm delighted to be joined by Adam Miller from ESP Utilities Group and we've been learning all about what is an IDNO, so that's Independent Distribution Network Operator and you support a lot of the CPOs, the charge point operators here in the UK. Tell us a tiny bit more about that. Yeah, so we, we look after the majority of the mainstream CPOs ranging from forecourt operators, motorway service operators, um, some of the big brands that you'll be aware of, Tesla, Ionity, Apple Green, Mer, uh, Osprey, for example, some of our bigger clients. And we help them to get connected and to make a big difference to their programs and accelerate their programs. This is why I love the ITT Hub. I didn't know about this until just this moment. How could I have missed it? But then we, why we're here is collaboration, information, and knowledge transfer. So why did you guys come to the ITT Hub? So we're here because we, we really see that the quality of the conversations that we have here are probably better than most of the other events that we, we go to. Um, so some, like yesterday for example, we had about 12 specific leads that we were able to take from yesterday and follow up, which is quite a higher rate, I would say, of high quality qualifying leads that we would normally get at an event. Yeah, I think this is one of the best events in the calendar for that business interaction. It's, it's mostly business to business audience, um, meaning you can actually delve deeper into what it is that people need. And the other thing I love about it is every year there's always something, there's an announcement. Did you catch any of Jesse Norman's presentation? I was in a meeting with a customer. Well, I think that's qualified, but he was essentially saying that we need businesses like yours that can support the rollout in a very sustainable way, not a mad dash, not a rush. How are you helping those huge CPOs particularly? What's special about you guys? I think it is a rush. Um, so I can't agree with him there. So our customers all need to accelerate. So the investors that our customers have are telling them to accelerate. Um, and that really works with our proposition because that's what we do. We provide the innate, we enable customers to go faster to get connected. Um, but we, um, the truth is that unless we all accelerate, we won't hit the targets that the government has given us and that we all know that we need to hit. So if we're going to hit 2030 um, with no more ICEs being sold, then we need to move faster. And so we, we run a number of efforts in that area. So A, we're helping our customers, but B, we also work as an industry lobby um, through the Independent Networks Association, um, working closely with what was Bayes, now Desnes, and other stakeholder groups to try and make sure that the collaboration that we all need is actually meaningful and working. Yeah, the ITT of the way they've set it up with the sort of heavy goods vehicles, the brand new buses, the retrofit buses, really brings to life the importance of that infrastructure going in the ground. And people so often, myself included, when you're program management of rollout charge points, you forget quite how long it might take to use a sort of traditional route through a distribution network operator. And to you guys, it's accelerated. You told me earlier, how quickly can it be done? Yeah, so I think, on average, it's taking people almost a year to go from a point of connection application which is your first step through to energization which is your final step and we've been able to shave that down to about 30 weeks if everything is lined up with a partner customer where our processes are well understood and are mature and in that situation we can get down to 30 weeks and this is for an HV high voltage connection so a complex high voltage connection with a substation with off-site works and with all of the components parts that that includes. It's pretty complex. Well, I for one am very glad that you're here at the ICT Hub, especially glad that you've had all those leads, and thirdly glad that you share our ethos, accelerating the transition to zero emission transport here at the UV Cafe. So it's a huge thank you, Adam, for being on our stage today. That's all we've got time for. Great. Thank well, you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.